Hello everybody out there. This is Utsup Swing from Smart Tech and today I'm going to continue with the part 2 of the World Machine 2 UE4 series. So this is going to be a less than 5 minute video maybe. So what I'm going to co cover in this video is that we have already made this network of nodes in part 1. Okay. So what I'm going to cover in this video is I'm going to output this height map and just quickly import it into UE4 so first thing you want to do is go to your world machine and world, select world extents and resolution okay so to you can set your width and height in here I'm just going to do 5 km that is 5 km by 5 km hmm actually just cancel that i'm pretty happy with my 8 by 8 right it looks good actually just build this real quick shouldn't take too long because my resolution is set to 530 into 530 so i'm going to export at a resolution of custom resolution of 2017 because um, UE4 accepts this resolution 2017 I'm going to link a documentation in the description just check it out it it covers everything uh, everything major about landscapes it explains what components are the optimal resolutions that UE4 supports etc and 2017 is one of them okay 2017 so go to a general setup maximum elevation i'm pretty happy with it this controls the maximum height of your landscape um set this to kilometers angle press okay so now um it is it i need to build this again first before i can output this so it is going to take some time because at 2k resolution approx i'm building it Mm -hmm. Let it happen. Memory used. Actually, I'm recording as well. So, you know, it is taking a while until then. Just open, uh, open, create a new UE4 project and make sure to include start content. If you're already using a UE4 project and if it doesn't have start content in it, just press add new, add feature or content pack and in the content packs starter content at project simple okay so um where was it here it is i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to call it to real okay so i'm going to right click and make a new level i want to name it main and i'm just gonna open it and i yes i want to save this line level and for the basics, I'm going to drag in an atmospheric fog, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and add a directional light. Simple. Cool. So in the, in the directional light, I'm going to, you know, in the, in normally, you will have to go to under your light and press this show advance button and atmospheric fog or sunlight. So, the atmospheric fog uses the directional light to set its sun position okay um, and i'm just gonna save all for a while now and let's see how much it is erosion is almost done so the next step shouldn't take much time okay now this press save selected here so you have all this set and I'm going to right click and create a new material okay just name it master just leave it as it is I'm going to cover that material in the next part okay erosion is almost done and maybe just maybe I may create a bonus part that includes the lighting setup that I have used in this map that I was showing earlier okay so let me just go ahead and this folder 
you know why I'm building this is that it is it if you just output it it was show an error message saying that you need to build your landscape before exporting and height map so this is just another important step only five threads are active out of 16 or is it yes, 16 threads Okay, it is happening here. If I go to my performance, my CPU is being used quite a lot. Three, four, eight threads. Four, four cores, eight threads basically. And it is almost complete. Okay, 98% here. The moment it completes, it should go pretty fast for these four. Done will complete it successfully okay now as you can see this is how it looks in 2k and it looks pretty awesome okay so what you want to do is just go here and either you could go file export terrain files okay i'm pretty not sure if that works that way or what you could do is pretty much if i do edit actually if i export terrain files it will export these files and i don't want to do that i want to just go to my height output make sure raw 16 is selected i'm going to set it to my desktop i'm going to create a new folder actually just create this new folder i have a folder already make sure to select this and press ok first and just go out and write output to disk file written successfully and press ok i'm going to do i want to yes i want to and yes and it should be done it is just saving a session file and press exit now i have got this um actually where is it i have got this um, output file in here dot raw 16 okay so what you want to do is go to a landscape tab in your level and here you have manage what you want to do is import from file select this and select and go to your file and just double click it now in the wireframe it doesn't look like much okay it looks pretty Brad, bad in here let me just show you guys okay as you can see nothing great about this right just make sure to press fit to data so it automatically fits your landscape to the data you, the height map gives and press import total components are 256 and that is actually a lot okay now as you can see you have got your landscape in here and ready to go now you may notice some fractal breakup and fortunately in this case it is very less okay this fractal breakup that you are seeing so what you could do is go to your smoothing okay brush settings nothing here detail smoothing um where is it tool setting brush settings um detail filter kernel radius circle and you can use an alpha okay so what you want to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to first i have only output in and raw 16 file and ue4 doesn't import raw 16 so what i'm going to do is go to my sculpt right click export to file okay heightmap.png this time it is in png now i'm going to import and i'm going to my desktop and i'm going to select this height map okay so i'm going to use this as my alpha as my brush basically so that i can get pretty variant value variant values i'm going to set this to movable for a while okay 
pretty unique values I can get using that detail smooth um, large detail smoothing values remove more details or smaller values preserve more details so the smaller the value it is the more detail I can preserve for of this okay texture rotation rotates the brush mass texture do I want to do it I don't know why it is it isn't reading it height math come on select it I'm pretty sure I have set it to that tool strength I can increase the tool strength okay filter the radius smoothing is performed here high values smooth out bigger details low values only smooth out smaller details so the smaller it is um, high values will smooth out like if I have to 10 if I if I have to uh, if I have set it to 10 then I can visibly um, let's just say smoothen out these which I don't want to okay breast size the radius I can control that as well so now what I want to do is I think I'll need to um, maybe it is some bug or something but it is not reading my height map why is that um, in usual cases it will do that I mean it should read my height map just save that but it really doesn't matter because it is just I'm not going over refining and all that stuff but you can use this trick you can put in your height map and smoothen out these if you have any fractal breakups to create um, let's try it now nope still not working I don't know why but it should be working in your case okay you sure hates me okay so I'm just going to for the sake of the video I'm going to drag this master material into this in here and just let it compile the shaders and that's it for this video guys um, if you dislike this video you know which button to press you can press that button and if you like this video make sure to press the like button and make sure to share this video so that more people can learn and don't forget to subscribe for the third part goodbye until next time